the oasis intervened in human history because he knew where the path would lead. And they got Jesus, and their response was, you're not who we think you are, kill him. We've come to the conclusion that Jesus is, in fact, the oasis, based on what we've studied, right? We've studied his work and what he has done, and we have found it to be true. We've found it to have saved our very lives, that he has literally brought us from death to life. We believe that he is the oasis, not another mirage. We're going to take a step back this morning. We're going to go back to Isaiah 53 and see what God was doing long before Jesus even walked the earth. The oasis intervened in human history because he knew where the path would lead. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, and as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised. We esteemed him not means literally we didn't think he was worth a second look. The problem with, with Jesus is they didn't pick up on the fact that he knew what he was doing until he was raised from the dead. Because when he's dying up on that cross, yet another one bites the dust. The problem was Jesus didn't fit their narrative. Does Jesus fit your narrative? And you know what salvation is? When he placed himself in our place. That's what salvation is. It's an inverse. We sin by placing ourselves where he should be. He saved us by doing the inverse of that. On the cross with Jesus' death, literally God, the righteous one, the one above all, the holy one, sees sin of the world and he abhors it. He hates it. It's terrible. He's going to deal with it. And how's he going to deal with it? He's going to allow his very son to be destroyed. And there's love there. There's incredible love because we couldn't bear the burden on our own. One act, God, justice, righteousness, salvation, love, grace, all right in front of everyone, all to be documented 700 years ago, and then to happen, and then to change our lives today. The oasis intervened in human history because he knew where the path would lead. 